Hi, Miss Mary Beth here. Thank you for joining us in our Oceans Week. And today we're going to learn all about sea turtles and make a craft straight from the sea. You can turn a surf clam into a turtle. But first we're going to start with a book to learn all about our sea turtles. It's called Swimming with Sea Turtles by Miriam Coleman and it's read the permission of Power Kids Press. So let's find out about sea turtles. Nesting on a dark beach where the only light comes from the moon, sea turtles look like giant stones. Some sea turtles can grow to be almost as large as a car. Their big hard shells make them clumsy on land, but sea turtles swim easily through the water. They can swim a very long way too. Sea turtles have been around for a long time. They have wandered the sea since before the time of the dinosaurs. Who knew that? Sea turtles are reptiles, just like lizards and snakes. Uh, and although sea turtles are born on land, they spend their lives in the ocean. There are eight different species or types of sea turtles. The different species range in color from green to yellow to reddish brown to black. Seven of these species belong to the same sea turtle family, but the leatherback sea turtle is in a family all by itself. The leatherback is the largest sea turtle. Leatherback turtles are generally four to six feet long. That's bigger than me. Oof. A leatherback turtle was once found that weighed more than 2,000 pounds. Definitely bigger than me. The Kemp's Ridley and Olive Ridley sea turtles are the smallest species. They grow to be only about 22 to 30 inches long. I don't know, that's still a lot of turtle if you ask me. Sea turtles live all over the world from Alaska to Brazil. Most live in warm and temperate water, but leatherbacks also travel into very cold water. Most sea turtles live in shallow water near the shore or in bays, lagoons, and estuaries. The hawksbill sea turtle, for example, lives near coral reefs and rocky areas along the coast. Sea turtles migrate or travel a long way between the places where they live and eat and the beaches where they lay their eggs. Leatherbacks can travel over 3,000 miles to reach their nesting places. Oof, hope they don't eat like Google Maps or Waze. All turtles have shells to protect their bodies. Most turtles can pull their heads and limbs in, but sea turtles cannot. Instead, sea turtles' shells are shaped to help them swim better. The top part of a turtle's shell is called a carapace. The lower part is called a castron. All turtle shells have an inner part made of bony plates. Most sea turtles have hard plates called scutes over these bony plates. Scutes are made of keratin, the same type of matter that forms people's fingernails and animals' horns. Hmm. Leatherbacks do not have scoots. Instead, their shells are covered with a thick, oily skin. Look at that sh turtle shell. Gorgeous color. It's almost as bright as the coral underneath it. Sea turtles have two sets of flippers. Hidden inside each flipper, a turtle has bony parts, which are like human fingers and toes. All sea turtles, except leatherbacks, have one or two claws at the ends of their flippers. A sea turtle's front flippers are long and powerful. The sea turtle moves its front flippers like wings in order to swim. Its back flippers are smaller. Sea turtles use their back flippers to change direction and sometimes to paddle. When sea turtles are on land, they can use their flippers to crawl and dig in the sand. Some turtles use their front flippers to dig nests on land, and some use their back flippers. I could caption this, I'd say, Geronimo, here I come. Sea turtles breathe air just as people do. However, sea turtles have a very slow metabolism. Now, metabolism is how a body uses, how fast a body uses its energy. This means that they need less oxygen to live, oxygen to live than people do. This lets them stay underwater for a very long time. Most sea turtles can stay underwater for a few hours, but black sea turtles can hide under the mud on the ocean floor all winter long. Wow. Sea turtles also have a special way of getting fresh water from the salty ocean. As the turtles take seawater into their bodies, a gland near the eyes takes in all the salt from the water. Sea turtles then cry the salt out through their eyes. I love reading nonfiction. I learn all kinds of cool kinds of stuff. Different species of sea turtles eat different foods. Their jaws are shaped differently so that they can better eat their favorite meals. Loggerhead and Ridley turtles have strong jaws to crush the shells of crabs and mollusks. Hawksbill turtles have pointy jaws to pull animals out of tight spaces and coral reefs. They like to eat sponges, shrimp, and squid. Leatherbacks have jaws that are good for eating soft animals like jellyfish. Other sea turtles are herbivores, which means they eat only plants. 
green turtles have saw-like jaws, which are good for cutting through grasses like algae. Mm. What a beautiful picture. When a mother turtle is ready to lay eggs, she crawls up out of the water and onto a beach. This is only the only time a sea turtle ever leaves the sea. Turtles are slow and clumsy on land, so it is not a safe trip for them. Mother sea turtles may swim a very long way to get to a nesting place. Some turtles, such as the Kemp's Ridley and the Olive Ridley turtles, come ashore in large groups. This is called the Arabata, Arabata, or arrival. When the mother reaches the beach, she digs, digs a deep hole in the sand with her flippers. She lays her eggs in the hole, then she covers the eggs with sand to hide them from animals. When she is done, the mother hurries back to the sea for safety. Baby sea turtles grow inside their eggs for 45 to 70 days. When it is time to hatch, the turtles use their beaks to cut through the eggshells. And once the babies have hatched, they dig themselves out of the nest. This can take four to five days. When the babies dig, the shells on their bodies become harder. Baby sea turtles will leave their nests only at night when fewer animals are out to hunt them. Then they must run to the sea as quickly as possible so they are not eaten. Once they reach the sea, baby sea turtles swim toward deeper, safer waters. Look at the little guys, they cute. They cute. Run, buddy, run. People have hunted sea turtles for thousands of years. They cook the turtles in soups. Ugh. They make combs out of the turtle's shells. Sea turtles also get caught by mistake in nets that are meant for shrimp. All sea turtle species are now in danger of becoming extinct or disappearing forever. Many countries have made it illegal to hunt these creatures. People also harm sea turtles by polluting the waters the turtles live in and by building homes on the beaches where turtles lay their eggs. Without safe nesting places, new turtles cannot be born. Now, what can you do to help? That's an interesting story. Now, if you'd like to learn more about sea turtles, I can show you how to do that. So Jim's online databases, anytime you're interested, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, can give you all the information you ever wanted to know about just about any animal there is, including sea turtles. So today we're looking at sea turtles. So from the library's website, click on services and resources, research and databases. And because I know I'm looking for a National Geographic, Geographic Kids, I'm going to scroll down a little bit, go to N, and there's National Geographic Kids. Now, if you're looking at home, you're going to want to click on the house icon and put in your library barcode and your PIN number. And since I'm looking for the library, I'm going to click right on the library icon. Now, in the search box at the top, I'm going to type in turtles, S-E-A-T-U-R-T-L-E-S. -E -E Oops, we help if I spell that right. R -T -E -S. All right, sea turtles. Let's see what we've got. All right, scroll down to Kids Magazine. And look, we've got sea turtles. Now, what's really cool about this feature for, because we're looking at some of the issues of National Geographic Kids Magazine, it can read, you want to, it could read the article to you. SFSSS well. blood and run x-rays but can't figure out what's wrong. So you can have it read you the article. The other thing you can have it do is if you want to see these pictures a little bit bigger, you can make it go full screen and really get a good look at the pictures. Yeah, the pictures of pictures of these magazines are fantastic. So everything you wanted to learn about sea turtles is here for you anytime you want to see it. And now we're going to take a craft straight from the sea, turning a surf clam shell into a turtle. Now, very, very simple. In your craft setup, you're going to get a, a surf clam shell and four legs, a head, and a tail. Now, you can do, the, do this in any order that you like, but what I did first was I colored my turtle's body first. Now you can use crayon, you can use oil pastel, or I used just green paint and a brush, painted my, sh my turtle's shell, and let it dry. Then, when the turtle, when it was dry, you can attach the head and the feet using tape or glue or paste, anything that you like, it, any tape really works well. And then, when you're done, you can decorate 
your turtle shell. You can give him a face, sorry. You can give him a face. You can draw in a shell. You can make him look like anything that you want. Um, it's really up to you. And this is what my finished turtle looks like. I think I'm gonna name him Tiny because he makes me think of all those little sh little turtles that are crawling out of their eggs, the newly hatched turtles crawling toward the ocean, heading toward the sand and the ocean and the big wide ocean that's out in front of them. I just think he's tiny. You like that name? Yeah. So uh, here's Tiny. Thank you for watching and for joining us for this week's Ocean Adventures. Bye.